Okay, this is the Limpopo September 2021 trial exam paper on internal resistance, electricity and internal resistance. And spoiler alert, if you people are here for 8.5 about the brightness of the bulbs and you have the memo, the memo is wrong. Okay, all right. So it says to you, a battery with an EMF of 12 volts and an internal resistance of R is connected in series to two identical resistors, each with resistance X, as shown in the circuit diagram below. The reading on ammeter A1 is 1,20 amps. Define the term EMF of a battery. So now this one, if you look in the 2021 exam guidelines, this is the definition we are looking for. The maximum energy or work done supplied by a battery per unit charge passing through it. You have to have the per unit charge or the per coulomb of charge passing through it and you have to have the maximum energy or work done supplied by a battery. Okay, now it says to you the same battery is now connected to the same two resistors but in parallel as shown in circuit diagram two below. The reading on ammeter A2 is 3 amps. Show that the total external resistance in circuit 1 is 4 times that in circuit 2. Now this is a lot like the multiple choice questions and then they would usually put the circuits up and ask you what's going on. So what is going on in circuit 1? In circuit 1 we have a series circuit so we know that our series is equal to R1 plus R2 so in this case our series is x plus x and if you listen to your grade 8 teacher you will know x plus x is 2x. In circuit 2 we have a parallel circuit okay and it is the formula for parallel resistance is given as 1 over rp equals 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 so we get 1 over x plus 1 over x which gives us if we listen to our grade 4 maths teacher 2 over x because x is a common denominator but we have to watch out this is 1 over rp so as a result to get rp we have to invert both sides of the equation yes and we will get rp equals x over 2 you are also allowed to say rp equals r1 times r2 over R1 plus R2. Remember this formula is not on your data sheet, but you can use it. So we get X over X over X plus X. So X times X is X squared people. X plus X is 2X. So we have X squared over 2X. If I divide the top by X and the bottom by X, I end up with X over 2, which is, as you can see, same, same. It's exactly the same answer, just two different methods. Now it says to you, show that the external resistance is four times that in circuit one. So what we can do here is we can go R series, which is circuit one over R parallel equals two X divided by X over two, which is the same as two X. If we are dividing and by a fraction, what we must do is multiply by the inverse so we get 2x over 1 times 2 over x and my x's here they will cancel and I will get 4 and we will have shown that R series over R parallel is 4 which is circuit 1 over circuit 2. All right so if we have a look here the total resistance here the external resistance here is 2x and on this one, the external resistance is x over 2. We're going to need that for the next part of the question. I'm just going to rub all of this out. It says using the two circuits and the equation EMF equals I external resistance plus internal resistance, calculate the resistance x. So we have here, sadly, a simultaneous equation once more. From this paper, there's like more than one simultaneous equation, very saddening. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing again um, with the formula. We're going to use the formula twice, circuit one and circuit two. So we have here 
circuit one. Let's leave circuit one up there in my very untidy handwriting. Okay, so in circuit one, we have E equals I R plus R. From the question, the EMF is 12 volts. From the thing next to the ammeter, the current is 1,20. The resistance here is X plus X because it's a series circuit, which we decided was 2X plus R. So if we say, I know you can use a distributive property to work this out, but I can also divide both sides by 1.2. So 12 divided by 1.2 is 10 equals 2x plus r. For circuit 2, we do the same thing. Okay, we write the formula E equals I R plus, whoopsie, R plus R. 12 volts, EMF of the battery doesn't change, but this time the ammeter reading is 3,0. We calculated that the parallel resistance is x over 2 plus R. Let's do the same thing again. Divide both sides by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 equals X over 2 plus R. And they ask you to find the resistance X. So we will substitute in R to find out what it is. So if we do it on this side, R will be equal to 10 minus 2X. And then we can say 4 equals x over 2 plus 10 minus 2x and if you do enough maths and you're okay with your maths you will end up with the answer x equals 4 ohms okay x will be equal to 4 ohms now it says to you calculate the internal resistance of battery r so you can either go the full monty back to this equation over here or you can just say 10 equals 2x plus r and then you go 10 equals 2 we found the value of x to be 4 ohms plus r so 10 equals 8 plus r and if your grade 8 maths holds you will get r equals 2 ohms so the internal resistance r is 2 ohms now it says to you and at the end of the day this 8.4 was removed from the marking and the paper was marked out of 146. So I'm not 100% sure what the problem is here, okay? But um, I can show you what the memo didn't explain. It says the resistors in circuits 1 and 2 are replaced by identical 12 volt light bulbs. One of the things I saw that's a problem here is that people don't read this properly. They don't realize that this 12 volt is the rating of the light bulb. They suddenly thought the light bulb had a resistance of 12 volts. No, people. It means that if we plug the 12 volt light bulb into the circuit, it's going to function. But there's internal resistance here. So I don't know what's going to happen because the light bulb will not function as rated due to internal resistance of the battery. Okay, but it says to you, show that a bulb in circuit two will glow brighter than a bulb in circuit one when the circuit functions initially. So what you have to do here, anytime we want to talk about brightness, we have to use a power formula. And usually with this one, we're going to use I squared R. So now if it's a 12 volt light bulb, its resistance could be anything. I don't know what its resistance is, so in theory, this should work for any value of resistance. So if you take the two circuits here, and this is what they did in the memo, they say to you, look over here, if we look at circuit diagram two first, I've got three amps of current coming in here, okay? But a parallel circuit is a current divider. There's gonna be one and a half amps in this branch of the circuit, and one and a half amps in this branch of the circuit. And they say, a bulb so we may only look at one bulb so this bulb here is going to be one and a half squared r okay so the power in this circuit is going to be one and a half squared times the resistance and if we look in this circuit it is going to be the power is going to be one comma two squared r and if you put those numbers in your calculator you will obviously find out that one comma two squared which is 1,44 four, 
is bigger than one and a half squared, I mean, is smaller than one and a half squared, which is 2 comma 2, 5 R, okay? So in this circuit, the bulb in circuit two is glowing brighter because according to power equals I squared R, there is more current going through a single light bulb in circuit diagram two, okay? Now, that question was removed. I'm not 100% sure why it was removed, but it was removed from the marking. But the next question has the wrong answer in the memo. It says no change, okay? But if you look at this circuit with its internal resistance, and you, it says, how will the brightness of one of the light bulbs in circuit two change if the other bulb in the circuit burns out? Write down only decreases, increases, or no change, and then for two marks, give a reason for your answer. So we're going to be looking at this parallel circuit over here, okay? So if we look at the parallel circuit over here, at the moment, we know that a parallel circuit is a, a current divider, okay? So any current that comes in here, half of the current will be in here and half of the current will be in over here, okay? And we know that when the circuit functions as a parallel circuit with the current coming to here and splitting, we know that the total resistance of the circuit is x over 2. And that gives us this larger value of current than in a, uh, in a series circuit. Yes, because the, resistance is, the external resistance is smaller, so we end up with a larger current in a parallel circuit. So the current is, as it's shown here, if you look at the values here, it's shown as 3 amps. When it gets here, half of it will go through one of the light bulbs. So when both of the bulbs are burning, the current through here will be half of the current. Once again, when we're talking about brightness of the bulbs, we're going to use one of the power formulas, okay? So we usually use I squared R or V squared over R. So then it says to you, what happens if one of the bulbs burns out? So if we have a look here, and we suddenly burn out this light bulb, okay? The moment this light bulb is gone, the only way for the current to get back is through one single resistor, okay? So it is just a rule of electricity. This is basically a series circuit that the resistance in a parallel circuit is always smaller than the sing a single resistor. So when this happens, what happens here? When the li one light bulb burns out, the external resistance is going to increase, okay? And resistance and current are uh, inversely proportional. So this means that the current in the circuit is going to decrease. So if the current in the circuit decreases, why would the light bulb burn brighter or burn less. We have the situation here with our EMF is equal to the volts used inside the battery plus the volts used in the external circuit. And this one is often referred to as the lost volts. So the moment that the current in the circuit decreases, the lost volts will also decrease. And if the lost volts decrease, the V external will increase okay so if the v external increases by v squared over r it means that the power of the light bulb is going to increase so the brightness of one of the light bulbs the short answer here is the brightness is it is going to increase but the explanation is a little bit convoluted because you have to then work out what happens to the internal resistance so so You've got to go step one, what happens to the external resistance when a light bulb burns out? The external resistance is going to increase, okay? So if the external resistance increases, the current in the circuit is going to decrease. But is it going to decrease to a value below half of the original current or a value above half the original current? And if you work it out, it works out. If you put numbers in, you will see that by numbers, it always comes out to more. But it will be um, 
a larger current than was going through one resistor. So the I squared R will also work because the current going through the one resistor is greater than the original current and the reason for that is because the internal resistance is smaller. So the short answer is decrease but you have to really stop and think logically for why that answer should hold true.